Sperm are really small as far as the size of cells are concerned, but that's okay. The good news is that you can see sperm no problem with a consumer grade microscope. I'm using a microscope camera that by itself adds 25 times magnification. Starting out with the four times objective times 25 from the microscope eyepiece camera gives us 100 times total magnification. At this magnification, you can see the head of the sperm. You can barely see the flagella of them, but I definitely want to go more magnified than that. Let's move up to the 10x objective. So 10x multiplied by 25 from the eyepiece camera gives us 250 times total magnification. There we go, that's a nice little cluster of them right there. So I like this magnification, 250 times. I mean, you can clearly see the head, you can pretty clearly see the tail. Um, the, the depth of field at this magnification is also pretty easy. And then on this microscope, at least, it's, the magnification isn't so high that it's impossible to like move the slide around with the, <laughs> to like center a sperm on the slide at a super high magnification becomes really hard. At this point, it's pretty easy. And since we got all these guys in a nice little cluster here, let's move up to the 40 times magnification. Objective times 25 is 1,000 times total magnification. See, I got one close. Can I center it? Okay, that's pretty close. I'm gonna call that good. So yeah, and there we go. I mean, you can definitely see the head. But yeah, this magnification, it looks quite nice without having a mechanical stage that you can rotate the little knobs. It's a little bit challenging. Wasn't, wasn't the end of the world though. This guy looks like he's maybe at the end of the, his life, he's not really swimming around like, cra like crazy the other ones are. We have one more magnification level to go up to, and that is using the 100 times objective that's on our Horizons microscope. The Horizons light microscope, which we were using before, only can go up to 40 times on the maximum objective. So for this setup, I'm not using this eyepiece camera anymore. I'm now using the trinocular camera because for whatever reason, at this level of magnification, this camera can just no longer really pick up on the contrast of these little guys. So I had to switch over to this. So you can see there's a little spermy that I finally got. It took me a while to actually be able to center the image over one of these guys because this is just so magnified at this point that just getting something in your view is really hard, especially the ones that are not kind of entrapped between the microscope slide and the cover slip will just swim in and out of your view super quickly. So that makes it hard. One of the other catches here is that not only is this objective, this 100 times objective, pretty much touching the cover slip, it's now also using what's called oil immersion. So you have to put a drop of oil in between the, the cover slip and the microscope objective to get rid of all the pesky air in between. And that's what makes the system work. So at this high of a magnification, things get more complicated. So my verdict is that you're gonna want somewhere between 250 and 1,000 times total magnification. So if you're looking at the microscope objective by itself, which is the most important part, it would be somewhere between a 10x and a 40x objective. I think anything over that is just really practically hard to deal with and you don't really ascertain all that much more detail out of your sperm that you're trying to look at. Aha, but wait, you might say this $25 USB microscope, look at that, it says it goes to a thousand times magnification. So I'll be able to, you know, see sperm just fine with this thing, right? Well, first off, this number straight up a lie. This is, there's no way this thing does a thousand times magnification. Secondly, there's way more that goes into making a setup like what I was showing before work. In particular, you need a very specific way to light the sample. The good news is that you can build a microscope setup yourself that is really good at seeing sperm for only a few hundred dollars. And I made exactly that video that you can watch right here. You should check it out. This one, this one's for you. This video, this video right here, I made this video for you to watch.